The first procedural building generator that we're going to look at is the Buildify generator, which using uh, geometry nodes enables us to create a uh, very simple apartment setup. And you can just use E to extrude and uh, create the shape that you want. You can also scale it down on the X and Y axis, as well as increasing the height and uh, create a lot of different apartment blocks. It's just one design, but you can still change the colors and so on. The next add-on is called the Procedural Building Generator and costs around $8 at this moment. And uh, with this add-on, you can change between a bunch of different designs and you have a lot more values to uh, play around with. You usually have to adjust the values depending on the building style and you also have to tinker around with the values to get a good result. Now, as uh, far as adding the buildings, you just go to the asset browser and then you drag and drop the asset into the viewport. So let's use the rundown template, for example, and then just press tab for edit mode and then S and shift set to scale it on X and Y axis. And then we can add some loop cuts by pressing control R. And by uh, extruding, we now have some extra floors. So as you can see, these procedural building generators can very quickly save you some time compared to manually modeling and texturing all of these buildings. I'm going to press E to extrude, and then we can extrude downwards as well. As you can see, we now have a custom building. And then you can play around with the different values, as well as some different colors. And then you can also change the building style while keeping the same mesh. While these add-ons are not perfect, they definitely show that there's a lot of potential in the future for these uh, geometry nodes generators, whether it's buildings or uh, something else. And one more thing with this add-on is that if you add a loop cut and then drag the edge, you can see that we now automatically have a roof 